Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see how to rerun the test cases which has been failed by our test engine. So right now, if you see the classes which I have, these as the two classes which I'm working upon, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not giving any assertions, right? So it's not getting pass or fail. But what I can do, I can give some assertion here. So what I can do on this second test case, I can deliberately fail test case. So how I can do that? It's assert dot assert equals. Okay. And here it asks me for the Boolean value. In actual, I can give actual is true or actual is false and expected is true. Okay. So I'm deliberately, I am failing this uh, test case so what I can do I can just go to run run configuration okay all right and I am running the regression profile so if you don't know how I created this regression profile you can refer my previous video and clicking on run okay so it will run the regression suit for me okay one two three four and if you see here, it says test run four failure one. So that's mean my one test case has been failed. So there can be situation where test case get failed. I want to rerun my test cases, right? Because sometimes it's possible that, you know, my system is down or sometime, you know, things are not working correctly at the server side or due to some temporary issue, my test cases get failed. And I want to rerun those test cases. So how would I do that? So what you can do, you can do a right click and you can do a refresh. Once you do a refresh on my project and open up, you will see a folder. Okay. One is test output and one is target. Okay. So if you go to this test output, there's a file called test ng fail .xml. Okay. So if you, if you just open this file, all right. So, okay. So here, what it says that what has been failed here. Okay, so if you open this file, it says that this is the test, okay, which is failed. And in this test, there are two classes. All right. And there, this is the test ng.fail.xml file, which has been created by test ng. Now let's look in the target folder. Okay. On a target folder, under surefire reports, okay, there is one more test ng fail.xml and if you open this file what it will tell you that there is something failed in the suit okay and in this suit there are two classes which you are running and in these two classes this is the method which is getting failed okay so that's mean that the way we have run this uh, smoke.xml if we are able to run this test ng fail.xml file we would be able to rerun these Okay, so let's say uh, I have to rerun this test ng.field.xml. So if I have to manually run this, I will just do a right click, you know, then run as and I will do test ng suit. Okay, so as soon as so do that, it will rerun my test cases. So first, it will rerun all these test cases which were there one, two, three, four, and then it will run the test cases which get failed. Okay. So you can see it has rerun in the sequence. But this is the manual way through which we can rerun our failed test cases. But we can also do some automation so that we don't have to go here and do a right click and we have to rerun the test cases through this way. So this is also one of the way which we can do while working on our project. And if we if we want that, you know, we only want to run the only one method. Okay. We don't want to run the other methods which were getting passed. So what I can do. I can just select this all and I will comment that out. So I'm doing a control shift and I am pressing the key here. Okay. So it is making, you know, all this as comment out. Now I will do a right click and then again run as test ng suit. Okay. So it will run only those test cases, which is failed. So let's say in your project, you have hundred of test cases among that 70 test cases get passed and 30 test cases get failed in between. It will be very difficult for you to identify which test cases had been failed by looking into the reports. So it's always better. You go to this test ng fail.xml file, 
do a right click run as and do and click on test ng soon so that it can run only the these methods okay so this is one of the way through which we can run the failed test cases there is one more way through which we can do that okay so what that way is let me just close this first okay all right so what i can do here under this i can create a new class okay new class and let me give it as name as fail test cases all right and clicking on finish okay now here i just need to write one method called i can give any name public void my failed method okay so i am giving any name here so it is my failed method so it's giving me some error i need to import it all right now what i have to do here so in test ng if you know in test ng everything is run through a runner okay so whenever i am running this smoke.xml whatever there in the smoke.xml is running through a runner okay so we can call runner here also but how we can do that for that i can give something like test ng okay i am creating an instance of a test ng here okay so the test ng which we are using i am creating an instance of that and i can give here equal to new test ng okay so i have created a instance of a test ng here all right then what i need to do i have to give a list here and that list would be of the string type all right and I will create a variable let me call it as array okay or I can call it as array list just to make sure it's an array list and I am declaring an array list here so I will call new array list okay so it is a string type so I will give a string here in the angular brackets all right so this is the way I am creating a new array list okay so in the later video i will tell you you know more details about the array list let me just import these because it is giving me error so org.testng list we have to import through java so it's java.util and array list we have to import through java again which will be java.util okay so i have created an instance of testng i have created a array list here okay so i have given new array list here all right now what i have to do i need to add my xml file so i will call as array list okay dot add okay so i'm click calling add here and here i can give the path of my fail.xml file and also my xml file which i want to run so assume that the xml file which we have okay let me just go there into target surefire reports and then it is here okay so this is my xml file which i want to run all right so what i can do i can just do a right click here properties I can get the entire path here okay copy it and I will paste it here all right so this is my XML file and that's it so I have added that and I just need to run this okay so what I can do I can put an enter here okay then I will set it as runner dot set test suit okay runner dot test suit all right so i have to set the suit here 
So here I can pass this array list. So I can type array list. All right. So once it is done, I can give runner dot run. All right. So this is also one of the way through which I can run my test cases. So all these things are happen automatically the first time when we run smoke.xml. So we have not given that. But now intentionally what we are doing, whatever test ng is doing, we are doing from here. So we have created an object of test ng class with the name of runner. And in the end, we are you know calling its run method so this is the runner method of the test ng class so we are calling this run method and before calling this run method we are setting up the suit for test ng so for that what we have given we have given a list we have created a blank list and then we have added one file here that is this file okay test ng field.xml and then we are running uh, we are setting the test suit for that so i have just you know added one file here but if you have any customization any custom requirement that you want to run more than one file also you can give here okay and then we are just setting the suit from this array list and we are running that okay so what i will do i will do a right click on this file because this is just a file Okay, and I will do a test ng test here. So I'm running this single file here. Okay, so you will see now the fail method has been run again. All right, so this is also one of the automated way through which we can run our fail test cases of test ng. All right. And if you want that, you know, I don't want to run this uh, file individually. I want to run this through run configuration. So the same thing which we have done for smoke and regression in our previous video, what you can do, you can create an XML file of the failed test cases. OK, so let me just copy this. Control C. Control V. Let me call it as fail.xml. OK. So this is fail.xml file. And here I need to give a package name and a class name. So what is my package name? If you go there, package name is same, my pack, and my class name is fail test cases. Okay. So let me just copy this. So it's fail test cases. Okay. All right. So now this will run my this class, fail test cases, and this class is pointing to my fail test.xml file so i can go here fail.xml i can do a right click run as test ng suit now it will run this suit see it has run this fail test cases and if still you want that you don't want to do a right click and do a run configuration from here but you want to do through pom through pom.xml so the same way we have created a profiling for uh, this one uh, this one Okay, so this is a profiling which we have created for regression. So you can just copy this up, up to profile. Okay, and what you can do in the end, just before the plugin end, okay, you can create another profile. Sorry, after profile, you can create another profile, and that profile would be called failed. Okay. So build profile profile, let me call it failed or failed test cases. Fail test cases. Okay, so ID is failed test cases. And here our file is fail.xml. All right. Now if I do run run configuration, okay. So we have done this before, but I'm showing it one more time. So what I can do, I will copy the smoke profile. Duplicate. And let me call this as failed profile. All right. And here I am calling the profile. We can just check our profile name. It's failed test cases. Okay, apply and then run. 
So now I am running the failed profile, the failed test cases profile. This failed test cases profile is calling fail.xml file. Okay. So this is calling this fail.xml file. So we got some error here. We can just check. It says file not found. Test ng fail dot okay so maybe you know we have done the clean that's the reason so that is okay so uh, you know because we have done a clean here okay because when we do a clean it go ahead and delete that uh, file so that is okay but this is the way through which you can run through the pom dot xml file also okay so one way is that you do it manually as I have shown you before you can just go to this test ng fail.xml file and do a right click and you know run as and then you can run as test ng suit or the another way which I have showed you is through a runner okay which we have done so we can go to this uh, class file if you see here we have created an object of test ng and then we have called the run method of that by passing this file Okay, so these are the two ways through which we can run the our failed test cases. Okay, now what next? Suppose that you have a requirement that you don't want to run till this test any.failedxml file get generated. Okay, you want as soon as your methods get failed, you know, that get executed one more time or two more time if it get failed. If this get, method get failed here, I want to try it one more time before it jump to the third test case. So that kind of a thing which we can do through our listeners. So in the next video, I will tell you how to do that. All right. So that's it for now for watching this video. And uh, if you have anything to know, you can let me know. And if you like it, please hit on the like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching.